Welcome back to the 32nd part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework and in this one I'm going to show you how to create a custom email template uh, to override the one that's built into Django. So in the last video we finished off looking at this error when we tried to uh, send a, a reset email uh, to, the, to the user and it got stuck on, uh, as it says here, there's an error during template rendering. So if you look just below that, you can see the location of the template that it's trying to use. And at the moment, it's using Django Contrib Admin Templates Registration Password Reset Email HTML. But we want to change it so that it's our own email template. And then what we can do to fix the problem is change the URL to using our new namespace. But everything else, we're just going to leave the same for now. Although it does mean that we can customize it however we want to much more easily in the future because we have our own template and we don't have to override it again or anything like that. So I am going to use mostly this same template except for the URL. So to do that, I'm going to just create another uh, HTML file. And this is going to be the uh, file I'm going to use for that email template. So it's not going to show on the, on the website at all as a HTML page, I'm just going to use HTML to be able to shape the content of the web page, of the email, sorry, not the web page. So I'm going to call this reset password email dot HTML. And this template is going to be pretty much the same as this Django template. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it and then remove these numbers. Okay, so now that I've removed these numbers, all, all I have to do now is link the template to the URL itself and change the URL, if, if we know that that part works. So to do that, I'm going to go to the urls.py and this uh, email template is going to be passed into the password reset view, which you can see if we look at the source here for the password reset view. Uh, so this is the password reset view and it takes an email template name which is the one that we're want, going to want to override because at the moment it's using registration uh, forward slash email template which is the Django one that's built in. So I'm going to say I'm just going to add to this dictionary and I'm going to say uh, email template name so that's just the name of the parameter over here that I'm overriding and I'm going to just pass in the name of that template, so it's in accounts. So remember, Django's already told to look in our templates folder, so we just have to say accounts uh, forward slash the name of the file. So accounts forward slash uh, reset. Oh, I'm just going to change this to an underscore actually because that just makes the naming slightly more consistent. That was actually a typo, so I apologize for that. And so it's password, uh, so reset password email, that's the name of the template. And now I'm going to put that in the URLs, so reset underscore password underscore email dot html and so that should automatically be passed into this view now and it should pick up the new template so I'm just going to double check that by refreshing this page I'll confirm that I want to resubmit that form because that was just the email that I entered and that's good now because even though this looks sort of similar uh, what we can see here is the location of the template that's using is in accounts templates accounts reset password email.html which is good because that's what we created. So now all I want to do is change this URL to use our namespace and I'm just going to do accounts just like that and then hopefully this should work if we refresh and resubmit that form. So now we get the password reset done form, which is good also, but this is again another Django template, so I want to override that. Now I'm going to copy the contents of this uh, pretty much, and then just use the the template from before. So let's find a template which we can uh, duplicate. I just use this uh, reset password.html, and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm just going to call this uh, password or reset password done. So now that I've got that I don't need a form and this really is just a, a sort of informational page there's no links in it or anything so I'm just going to put the text in from the from the default Django template and I think that should be good I'll just say password reset sent so it's similar to this template and now if we 
all we need to do now is just connect that to our URLs. So I'm going to pass in uh, reset password done into the correct view and I think this is the reset done view but if you're not sure you can always check using the source code so I'm just going to scroll down to password reset done and this takes a template name so this is the template that we want to override here so I'm just going to say uh, password reset done and then I'm going to add the dictionary onto the end there because we haven't got one for this view yet I'm going to say template name so now I'm just going to say the name of that template so I'm going to say accounts forward slash uh, reset password done dot html and if we refresh this hopefully we should get the new template pulling through so there we go so it's got our custom text and our, our entire sort of nav bar and everything like that so that's really good so now what I want to do or in the next video I'm going to talk about what happens when I follow through to this uh, link that I've been sent in that reset email so at the moment it's just this so I just go to this link in the browser and what I'll get is an error because again it's getting stuck on the uh, URL not being correct because we're using that new namespace so there might be some more arguments we've got to pass in and I might override another couple of templates or maybe just one or two templates in the next video also I know I said in the last video that I was going to uh, reposition that reset password sort of form and process so that it was available for logged out users but because this sort of getting the form working and overriding the templates and redoing the email templates and stuff like that is taking a little bit longer I'm going to do that just in a future video probably after I finish that reset password process and got it working again uh, using that new namespace